<coughs> All right, here we go. I'm Ben. We are playing the Facebook Popper League online. This is round one. Be cordial with our opponent. I don't hate this hand. We need we like desperately need to draw an extra another land. But we go turn one three B, turn two inspect turn two inspector, I guess. Hmm. Let's keep it. We're living on the edge. So I saw this deck uh, as a 5-0 um, from, who was it? Somebody. And it looked really sweet, so I wanted to try it out in this league. If you're not aware of what this league is, it's a monthly Facebook league. Um, this isn't good for us here. So we're going to play another 3B boy. Maybe I should have played the Ardent Recruit, actually. Because next turn I would play the 3-bit Inspector anyways. Um, and it's the same damage. But if I happen to draw like an Artifact Land and uh, able to swing for 3 would be better, certainly. Especially since we're looks like we're playing against Blue Black Teachings, probably. So we'll get in there for 2. We like certainly desperately need to draw land here. Um, we're gonna get super blown out to uh, their their wrath if they're playing that. Evan Carr's justice. Uh, we c we currently can't beat a <laughs> Gurmak angler, so we need to draw land and, and land this uh, prophetic prism and then go from there. Because we currently, you know, as it stands, if we draw land, which eventually we will in this matchup, especially uh, since we're playing, there it is. Oh, so since we're playing against control, so we're going to attack first. We need to draw. We need to play this land successfully. Resolve this prophetic prism, um, so that we can cast these uh, points of burn. This is good. All right, that's fine. That's unfortunate, but at least we've got a prophetic prism. We can start going from there. See, we've got 4, 8, 11, 14, <laughs> 17 points of burn in our hand. Okay, there's 20 points of burn. Um, I think we're just going to start end of turning these Galvanic Blasts. We're just getting them in when we can. Um, and uh, going from there, you know, <laughs> he's going to have to deal with some of these, right? But we want to cast the Galvanic Blast while we've got Metalcraft. And then we can start sacking these clues. I wouldn't mind drawing like an uh like the uh red artifact land. Or a mountain's fine. Pass the turn. We'll go ahead and blast him here. It doesn't really matter, but we're just going to do it. Just in case. He's probably going to want to be digging for counter spells at this point. He's probably loaded up on removal. Maybe a win condition like a Gurmag Angler that he just doesn't want to tap out for. But now end of turn, we can certainly stack one of these uh, clues. Draw a card. All right. Land is fine, I suppose. Let's go ahead and play this. Say go. He's drawn a bunch of cards. Yep. Honestly, I think the I think the game plan here is just to burn him out. So we'll go lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Now he's dead uh, <laughs> on our turn. So if he taps out, uh, he's certainly dead. We get to draw a card end of turn. Maybe we shouldn't though, because galvanic. That's pretty good. Um, so we basically need to go for it. Let's go ahead and crack this clue. I don't think, <laughs> okay. I don't think pressure on the ground is what we want. So let's go ahead and play a land. We'll cast this prophetic prism. See what he does. We'll play this. See what he does. We've got metal craft. Hopefully he, Okay.
Let's just go ahead and chain lightning him. And if he taps out end of turn, so if he lets us resolve, that's great. If he taps out end of turn, we'll just kill him. Let's just kill him. So he prohibits. Okay. Say go. He could be stabilizing here. That pristine talisman's pretty good. I'm surprised he didn't tap it for. Oh, he did. Never mind. Okay. This one may be slipping away from us here. We have to draw burn spells and they need to resolve. I think we just bolt here. Why not? Just get it in. We need to draw <laughs> any burn spell. And hope he doesn't have a counter spell, which he probably does, but he's played two. So let's play this idiot. That's a good that's a decent draw actually. It's not great, but Alright, he's gonna condescend or exclude rather. Yep. So we've learned from this game one that we need to certainly be a lot faster um, in game two and three. So we might be, I like all the burn spells. Like we need, we need to deal, I mean, had we dealt, I don't know, four or five points of damage with creatures this game, um, we probably would have won uh, with all the burn we had. So I don't know if we sideboard too much, honestly. I'm thinking about maybe bringing in the smash, smash to smithereens. Seems decent. Um, and maybe a pyroblast. Take out the prismatic strands. Uh, maybe bring in a relic. Relic seems fine. I'm certainly looking on to the next game. I don't think I can beat his seven cards. In fact, if I draw another land... Let's just see what happens here. <laughs> Get a 2-2. Two -two. Say go. I can protect... No, I can't. He doesn't deal any damage. He's going to kill something. Mystical teachings. He's going to flashback Forbidden Alchemy. If I were him, I would untap and play a Gurmag Angler and get this thing over. Yep. Yep. And that's where I concede. All right. This could be a this could have been a bad match up here. We're going to go smash. I don't really care about pyroblast. Get a relic. Bring these out. Cut one of these. Cut one of these. Cut one of these. Bring in another relic. Do we want a pyroblast? Probably not. All right, let's try it like this. I have a hard time seeing this deck being uh, blue black being good against the Jeskai deck. But maybe it's good enough. I don't hate this hand. We'll, gr we'll go turn one Thraben Inspector into turn two Glint Hawk, I think. Returning the clue. 
and then we'll have some sufficient uh, early game pressure hope hoping that we draw into some relevant spells um, with the prophetic prism unless we just draw perfect a uh, Arkham's astrolab that'd be phenomenal Let's just play it a little bit slower. Let's just go ahead and do this, get it out of the way. Um, I'm fine with asking him to have an untapped land and turn two to counterspell my Glint Hawk, which he does not. So that's good news. This makes our next turn pretty solid because we can attack for one. Play Glint Hawk. Return the Prism. Play Land. Play the Glint Hawk. Draw a card, say go. And that's not a bad draw either. We just need to continue to have play diversified threats that don't die to uh, um, any one card. So, Echoing Decay. I feel like we've got a decent amount of pressure here where we're going to be able to attack every turn. Um, Play a play a play a spell end of turn and then untap and play something. Um, I'm not going to play into his exclude. That just doesn't make any sense. We can keep clue up and lightning bolt. Actually, what we want to do is play galvanic flex first. Probably end of turn here. Uh, actually, no. We'll filter a land. We'll filter a mana for prophetic prism red and play lightning bolt because we'd rather have. You know, if he goes to counter that for whatever reason, hydro blast or something, we want the Galvanic Blast to resolve. So Lightning Bolt first. Hit you for three. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it! This is not a PG-13 stream, everybody. So he's going to go ahead and counter this, which lets, which is fine. Hi this lets us <laughs> untap. Hopefully he doesn't have a spell. Okay, this lets us untap and play a bunch of cards. Um, first of all, we're going to... Hmm. We're going to attack first. Then we're going to sack the clue. That's good. We're going to play this guy. And then we're going to... Hmm. Do we bounce the Glint Hawk? The do we bounce the prophetic prism with the glint hawk and have we played a land? Yes, we played ancient din. I think right now, honestly, we don't need to. We can just chain lightning the guy, put him under a lot of pressure. We're basically asking him, you have to deal with all of our threats here. Even the Thraben Inspector is gonna uh, over time deal enough, I think. Evan Carr's Justice, yep. Which is good. We played around. I'm super happy I did not bounce the prophetic prism. I know I wasn't even I you know I wasn't thinking about it honestly, but here we go. Now we have a three three, which is going to probably win this game, honestly. We can we can go uh Ardent Recruiter, Glint Hawk, Prophetic Prism. Whew. Strong. And he doesn't have a window to kill this unless he plays Gut Shot, which I don't think he would. I don't think I played a land, which I probably should have. That was a total accident by me. But that's okay. I don't think it's... I guess I could have Chain Lightning him, but he's going to have to deal with all my creatures here. So let's see what he's got. It's going to have to be like... Doom Blade. There's the Echoing Decay. I, I guess it could have been like Echoing Decay Shrivel, but that even that's not very good. Yep. Probably should have sacked the tap one, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so he's dead in a few different ways here. We're going to attack for three. We'll play a course Skyfisher to get a spell out of our opponent's hand. We'll kill him with the Galvanic Blast with that on the stack. 
GG. All right, moving on to game three. We want to do something very similar. Um, we're on the draw, so he, so I think we take out one smash. I didn't see it that game, but that doesn't mean he didn't bring. I think I think like this one pyroblast. I think he still we can maybe cut one relic. Yeah, two pyroblasts, one relic. On the draw, we want to we're, we're going to have to play it a little bit slower unless we unless he's unless he's playing really slow. Um, but it's not bad to have a couple of these two. Uh, maybe just one to get the last points of damage in somehow. Man, if he taps out for yeah, I think I think on the play we want to keep the smashes in. He ta <laughs> if he goes turn three, taps out for that. I go turn two or three. Uh, smash it. It's just not good for him at all. All right, let's do it. Brought in, we brought in one pyroblast, cut one relic. Game three, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a good hand. This does not ask if our opponent uh, answers on two different axes. Um, plus, it's really slow, so we'll mulligan. The only thing, the only way I can see this hand being decent is if he goes like nothing, nothing. <coughs> life gain artifact thing so we'll mulligan this certainly there's a better five I meant six but maybe we're going to five here what's our opponent doing he's thinking about going to he does mulligan to six okay hopefully he's mulliganing for mana reasons just like we are um I don't know if this is keepable. It doesn't look like it. If I did keep it, I would put Glint Hawk to the bottom. Um, what does this hand ask of me? It asks me to draw an artifact land red. A red artifact land, right? Into some other artifact. I'm on the draw. I'll go ahead and keep this one. We're playing risky, boys. All right, let's go. Give me, give me the great furnace. That's not a bad draw. All right, so we're gonna go this into the homunculi, so we can next turn play astrolab um, and attack for two. Hopefully we draw a land. Um, hopefully our opponent plays a tap land or something. Yep, kills it. That's fine. That's fine. We have another one, so we're just gonna play another one. There you go. Cycles. He's at four cards. One of them's a land. He's probably going to get a swamp. Yep. I'm not super thrilled with where we're at uh, on this game, but um, as long as this resolves, which it might not even. Okay, it does. That's sweet. Land. Yes. Play. Uh, no, we're going to attack for two. Get in there. We're not playing a creature into his thing. We are going to play another Astrolab. Because why not, right? If he doesn't spend his mana, that's good for us. Because that means we're up on mana. End of turn, he's probably going to think twice or alchemy. No, he does nothing. Sweet. So we just traded. We just drew two cards and he did nothing. All right. I'm kind of smelling blood here. Um, I'm going to attack for two. I really need to get another one of these threats on board. And I think I want to actually play uh, Core Skyfisher here first. Because um, if he doesn't counter it, great. But I want to land this 3-3 three, three for one. There we go. I, that's fine. We're double spelling here. Say go. I'm developing a decent ground force here that he's going to have to deal with. I mean... Five a turn is no, th is, is no joke. Next turn we can prof prism. Um, hopefully drawing a... What do we want to draw? A Glinthawk maybe? Or just more burn? Hmm. Fuju Kabog, sure. It's a good card. Oh, he, he hits himself on accident. That's uh, probably unfortunate. Uh, I don't know why you would do that. So we'll attack for... 
five. Maybe it was correct to play the ancient in there just in case he can somehow destroy an artifact, bounce an artifact, something. Okay. <coughs> we will play this. Play a land. We're going to go ahead and Galvanic Blast you now. I just want that to resolve for four damage. I know that's kind of silly, but um, this is the game that we're playing here. He's going to have to do something about this, which he's probably about to. Yep. Say go. We're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna get these spells to resolve, and we have to draw well. Basically, we did not have a great start here. Hopefully, this resolves. Please, hmm. If this resolves, oh, we're not in a bad spot here. Okay, so we're gonna draw. The Astrolab, of course. Cast the Astrolab. So this is good. This is a step in the right direction. Um, he might be, what is he doing? Teachings? Okay. Let's see what he gets. Maybe a removal spell? I don't know. Crypt Incursion? Okay. So that's why he hit himself. Play another Astrolab. We're drawing poorly here. So Crypt Incursion is really good good in this matchup, especially when we've invested all this time in burning his face. Probably, probably a game winner. He's going to gain nine off of it. Yep. We're just uh, a lonely alcoholic recovering from our breakdown here. Take two. <sighs> Say go. Yep. Opponents got it all. We need to basically rip creatures that bounce. So we need to. We need to just rip uh, anything that draws us cards. Not that. We need creatures to finish this game. Because he's just going to... Yeah, he's going to kill all of our stuff. It's probably game over. I'd probably get exclude. Exclude or a counter spell. Okay, okay, that works too, I guess. How do you win, though? That relic would have been good. So th if this gets countered, I'll probably just concede. Devious cover-up. 